he's like, words? What the fuck are those? Where's the fans? You are You're the fans. fan, bro. Look at you standing around us. <laughs> You're too old to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Alright, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we? It's time to clock in. I was gonna try to do something there, and I fucked up. <laughs> Fort Lauderdale, Florida, right now for 12 hours doing a fucking podcast with the legend Tony Robbins. The podcast has been firing off lately. We got some crazy guests coming up over the next few weeks for you guys. Absolutely stunning day. Actually not at all. You know, that classic Florida humidity, cloud cover like crazy, but honestly, Florida's a pretty cool spot. No state income tax, yep. Rick Rick DeSantis. Hey bud, Tony Robbins podcast. Bud, Tony Robbins podcast. This ain't good. He's fucking completely naked. Boy, he got it. <laughs> 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 Tony Robbins podcast, bud. You don't need me for that. Looks like a fucking newborn baby. This is getting harder and harder, man. You're getting old, bro. You gotta stop it, dude. Stop what? I didn't do anything. I do have something important to talk to you about, but I prefer your clothes for it. Is this the thing you said you had to tell me about? <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> suck your dick finally? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that time you showed me that PowerPoint you made about that, that island? You want to move to Puerto Rico? So me and David, we're going to be in limbo for maybe like a month or so because we have to leave the house in at Beavers. You want to kind of move to Puerto Rico? The limbo could be extinct. It's like you it's, ever have blue balls, Mike? Because that's what this feels like. We're going to be kind of just like hanging around places. Well, we could even uh, watch Euphoria together. There's four episodes of Euphoria if it's a month. You call it Fuphoria. No, but it's actually perfect because there's four episodes yeah, of Fuphoria. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, you that's didn't get it? You... Actually, three episodes would be Fuphoria. What? Is three f a few? Yeah, Mike. Go back to high school. <laughs> four is a few. Is that wrong? Yes! Wait, no chance you actually believe this. Jeffrey, it's Mike. What's up, brother? Just out of curiosity, when someone describes the word few, how many would they generally be speaking of? Uh, three. It's not negotiable. Not, not four, though. Mm-mm. Never. It's three or more, I would say, because of the fact that it has to be fewer than whatever number that oh. you're expecting. So uh, now, now he's getting into semantics. It's fewer than whatever number it is that was expected. So if it was like, I'm nah. supposed to have 10 of them, Nah, we should we should use Siri. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ask her, ask her, ask her. Ma'am, in your general understanding of the word, no, please, of the I word. Don't want to be on the okay, just stand right there. You won't be on it. Of the word few. When someone says, "Oh, I have a few of something," how many do you automatically usually assume they're speaking about? When you say few. Yeah. It's just like another another fifteen minutes. Okay, perfect. All right, good enough. Thank so you. I'm not gonna check your back until around. A few minutes. Come back in a few minutes. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, so what does that one doesn't count? That one count. Dude. And now a word from our sponsors. Okay, as you guys can imagine, we have a lot of expenses over here at the Night Shift Corporation, from jets to hotels to equipment and everything in between, and those costs add up quick. And that's why I'm happy that today's video is sponsored by The Extra Card. Extra is the first debit card that allows you to build your credit and earn points just like a credit card. This card is perfect for people who are trying to build credit for the first time or rebuild their credit with no credit checks and absolutely no interest. And it's super easy to use, check this out. First, users connect Extra to their existing bank account, then Extra spots them for their everyday purchases and users just auto pay Extra back the next business day from their linked account. Then at the end of the month, all payments are tallied up and sent over to the credit bureaus so you guys can start building credit. And the best part, Extra users also receive redeemable reward points for every single purchase they make. So sign up for Extra at the link in the description below and join over 200,000 other users who are all building their credit with a debit card. That's right, a debit card. So go ahead and click that link below and let's get back to the night shift, baby. Oh, bro, bro. If you move to Puerto Rico, there could be a chance that Olivia O'Brien's new song, Puerto Rico, <laughs> is about you. <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to move there as a deflection? Yeah. <laughs>
Last week I said that I was gonna start talking about a little bit more like real authentic shit on this vlog channel. And I'm gonna take today to start it. The past three or four days I've had uh, severe, severe spikes in my anxiety. I don't know why certain days are, are bad. You know, and, and that's the thing that's most frustrating about diseases of the brain is just the unpredictability of it. It fucking sucks, dude. Frankly, it sucks. And honestly, like, <clears throat> I know that a lot of people watching this will be able to resonate with that. I just wanted to talk about this a little bit today because I want people to know that it's 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 an ongoing battle. And I, I hope the one takeaway for you guys is you're allowed to have bad days. You're allowed to take days off. You're allowed to spend a fucking day in bed. You're allowed to rest. You're allowed to miss stuff. I personally now I'm trying to force myself to feel the same way and be able to take days off. Unfortunately, today's not one of those days. It's always so weird to leave that discussion and just walk into this room right now like nothing's happened. What up, gang? Nothing's oh, up. I'm Caitlin. Mike. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. <laughs> you're very tall. Yeah, I get that a lot. Much taller than I thought you were going to yeah, be. Yeah, I know. I get that a lot too. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Thank you. It's awesome to have you. But yo, if you're having a bad day, if you're having a rough time, if you're feeling sad, if Say you're feeling, talk to your people, Say it, yeah. lean on your people, and always understand that the biggest blessing that you have in your life is your fucking people. Mm. Because there are a lot of people out there that have no one. Mental health crisis averted by being around my friends, dude. Let's Let's go. Take the picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this poorly framed photograph. <laughs> what do you want? What? Mike quit. You Mike, left me with the Mike's not vlogging? Great, bro. YouTubers are fucking weird, anyways. Look at me. Fucking weird, bro. Mike, hey. Shut the fuck up. His cock must be massive. Why do you look so happy when you film him? Because you, 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 No, fuck you, bro. He's positive when he's, energy. Bro, fuck you, you dog. I looked day. outside. I saw positive. you. You're a rusty <laughs> crowd. Bro, bro, I swear You're to God. I see you out here, bro, with the biggest <laughs> smile on your face. Maybe if you smiled while you were filming me, I would smile. You paid me more. <laughs> Can I show you something real quick? Shut up. You stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How did they get these shots? I, I, at this point, <laughs> it feels <laughs> intentional. The they're, like, they're like, we're gonna wait for him to blink and go cross-site to take the photo. What'd you say? Uh, yeah. I think you got the wrong guy. Yeah. <laughs> you having fun? <laughs> you having a good time? It's nice. Yeah, you can tell, bro. Look at you. You're having a good ass time, huh? <laughs> yeah, look at him. <laughs> look at him. He's having a blast. Famous? Nah, you famous. Look how you dress. You got scars on your shirt. White jeans, brand new kicks. What is that? What the fuck is that? He's like, words? What the fuck are those? We're the fans. You are You're the fan, bro. Look at you standing around us. You're the guy that's waiting for my Uber. What do you even say? Huh? What you say? Yo, you're the fat French Montana. You fat fuck. You heard me, pussy. Gets in the car and drives away. No, gets in the Prius. <laughs> What's this? We're like, it's a calling brand called Maverick. He goes, <laughs> it's a word. Yo, you got knocked out by Mayweather, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. You having fun? We're shooting a cold open for the Oliver Tree podcast. He has the world's biggest scooter. What exactly do you do? Short videos about my life. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not interested. Dan? Yeah, is the car go. here? Let's go. All right, hey, dude. You have a bright future ahead of you. You know, your brother, Jake? Yeah. He's a talent, man. And I think if you keep up and you try to just spend some time with him, have him be your mentor, maybe one day you could do something with your life. Super Bowl Monday is the least productive day. People don't go to work, they call out, they stay in bed because everybody's been partying. Well, guess what we're doing, motherfucker? We're going to fucking do a podcast with Arnold Schwarzenegger at eight in the fucking morning. Do you know what my brain does at eight in the fucking morning? Nothing. How, how are you? Uh, I am. Conscious. Are you ready to do a podcast with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Truthfully, no. <laughs> the day after the Super Bowl, who does I'm anything? Some kind of fucking idiot. <laughs> who does this, dude? I don't like the stance, man. We're at Gold's Gym right now, the legendary Gold Gym. Arnold Schwarzenegger's personal workout location. He's over there. It looks like he's hitting some lats. Look at that shit, bro. Cranking right now, dude. Hello, George. Hey, pleasure. Doing, George, 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 can you just stand up there and block the sun? Yeah, absolutely. Is that better? 
<laughs> Chris and Eddie's Little Armenia is the neighborhood and David already told me that he's quite pissed off that there's no Little Germany. Why is there no Little Germany? We come to Chris and Eddie's. We were on their uh, Instagram page. Everything looked delicious. We get in there. They're calling these sliders. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I want to just DQ the fucking thing. What just makes a slider a slider? The size of it. So here it is. Smash patty. It's very cheesy. It's got some sauce on it and I think there's some grilled. I'm going to be honest with you. This thing feels like it just came out of the microwave. It did. If I squish this down, it's going to stay like that. Three, two, one, go. We give this one 10 out of 10, baby. We did it again. Who's picking these places, man? All right, everybody shut up for a second. Wow, I give it an 11 if, it, if I could. Just shut the fuck up for a second, please. I don't know how I got my, myself into this contract. What, I said a couple jokes about getting railed on camera. Who cares, bro, it's over with. The bun is incredibly soggy. It feels like maybe they soaked it in either water or butter or prime uh, so before the- me after the jacuzzi. Are you a fucking Don? And pepperoncinis, bro, 12 out of 10. Unbelievable. I can't take you guys right now. You can't take me. It's Valentine's Day. You're going on a private jet in fucking one hour. I'm going to go sit home and cry because I got my eye getting cut open tomorrow. Yeah, bro, I'm stressed out, God damn it. And you want to fucking make me do it? You made me throw my pepperoncini. It's Valentine's Day the day after Super Bowl Sunday. Nobody wants to be in your fucking video, but we're here supporting you. Hey, you know what? I tried heroin yesterday for the first time. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Please, they're thin patties. I just don't know what to do. Oh, you don't know what to do. I had my heart broken this week by your best friend. Yeah. No, you know what? I'm calling it right Good now. We hung out. One Chris and Eddie's. No, nope. Chris and Eddie's <laughs> Little Armenia disqualified. I just, I just can't. I'm sorry. I can't get. He's having. Yeah, how could you have done that to me? So I opened my heart up just to get what fucking crushed. And now I'm stuck here doing a burger review with you on Valentine's Day. As you know, we did deal with some deeper stuff earlier in the episode. Conversations around mental illness, depression, anxiety. And I want to start giving you guys access to a little bit more information on how to help yourself if you do feel yourself running into your own problems, your own issues, and you need someone to talk to. From here on out, every episode of The Night Shift, if you look in the description below, I'm going to start putting some information and links to the SAMHSA helpline as well as the suicide prevention hotline. Um, if you guys ever feel like you're in a position where you need someone to talk to and you don't have a family member or a friend to talk to about your problems. And I know it's tough, but I hope you guys find a little bit of solace in seeing someone go through the same kind of stuff that you do. And that's kind of what I hope to be. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for working late with us. I love you. I want you all to know that you're valued. I care about you and I fucking appreciate you every single day. And I'll see you on next week's episode. We're clocking out. Peace. So this is where it ends up, huh? Just you. Where's Mike? I took over the night shift, man. Oh, I knew it was gonna happen at yeah. one point. So, Jesus Christ, he just he just quit. Yeah. He Where's quit. he at right now? Uh, he joined David Dobrik's call. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. There's just one line that goes, uh, I'm not your little thotty, I thank God every day. I go, do you really thank God every day that you're quote unquote, not my little thotty? <laughs> Dear God, thank you so much for the food you've put on our table. Also, I want to thank you that I'm not Logan Paul's little thotty. I appreciate these blessings that you've placed in my life. Amen. Is that what it looks like? <laughs> oh, this looks good. That... Damn, baby, you look good. Um, thank you. What's your name? Rodney. Yeah. Pleasure, man. Good All to meet you, brother. Good to meet you. You got a great flow there, not some of this pussy little TikToker bullshit. That's what bullshit. I'm saying, dude. And you know what? I think there's a bright future for you. And I think there could be money in this for the both of us. I never had money my whole life. Let's call it a deal. Yeah. Pleasure, man. Rodney? Rodney. <laughs>